Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series. When we work with ExpressJS or we are trying to build a mean stack application, the M in the mean stack stands for MongoDB. Even if you are not using mean stack, if you want to work dynamically with ExpressJS and Node.js, you will need to work with a database system. That database can be anything. It can be MS SQL Server, it can be MySQL, it can be MongoDB, it can be RDS, can be DynamoDB, can be DocumentDB, anything. But I'm going to show you some examples and live projects with MongoDB and MySQL. I'll start with MongoDB first and hence the introduction to MongoDB this in this part. Later, due towards the other series end, we will cover MySQL as well and the CRUD operations for that. So stay tuned for that as well. But for this particular episode, let's get started with introduction to MongoDB. This is part 15 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Make sure you have gone through all the previous episodes so that you have continuity in your learning. Today we are focusing on introduction to MongoDB, but there are a lot of other interesting cool things we are going to do with MongoDB in terms of connecting, CRUD operations, get, post, put, delete and much much more. On the same lines, we will do the same with MySQL database so that you get confidence that you can work with any database system down the line when you are given with Express or Node framework. Alright, so what is MongoDB? MongoDB is a document database with the scalability and flexibility that you want with the querying and indexing that you need. It sounds like a big jargon, but trust me, it's just a JSON documents that you store, which is easy. There is no schema, but it's a JSON document which you store so that it, it provides us flexibility so that we can add any kind of schema for different different documents. Also, the querying and indexing can be really flexible and increase in performance. A document oriented database provides APIs or a query update language that exposes the ability to query or update based on the internal structure on the document. The MongoDB documents are composed of a key value pairs. I told you MongoDB documents are nothing but they are just JSON documents or in this case BSON documents it's stored as. But if you see at the heart of it, it's just a key value pair, right? You'll have a key and a corresponding value. No two documents need be same, need not be same. It can be different and that's the beauty of MongoDB. I have shown you how to install, how to run and in fact I have covered much much more um, in the in the MongoDB playlist that I have covered separately I would just like to show you. So if you go to the Arc Tutorials channel which is my channel here you would see I have created exclusive um, you know tutorials for you which has close to 21 tutorials right now and which covers in detail and in depth right. So, uh, sorry for the ads, but then um, so you skip the ad and you would see that it has all the things from beginners to advanced. OK, so I want you to go through this MongoDB tutorial uh, playlist so that you have fundamentals of how to query, how to how to operate. And you will see everything I have covered in detail for you on MongoDB. This is the knowledge which we will make use in our uh, Express JS when we build dynamic APIs. The playlist link is also in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you check it out on my channel and do let me know if you have any doubts or queries. I'll be happy to help you. In the next episode, we will run into introduction to Mongoose and then we will start with our CRUD operations and start building live project on main stack. Thank you so much. Do check out the MongoDB full tutorial playlist and we start with introduction to Mongoose in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.